Kuo, and I work with the Echo Asia Impact Center here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a seed germination chamber. A cabinet, sheets of styrofoam insulation, a ruler or a measuring tape, a screwdriver, a hammer is handy, a pair of pliers, a crescent wrench, multi-purpose drill bits, 20 millimeter screws, cable ties, a box cutter or utility knife, a drill for a nice clean hole, electrical tape, and an outlet. So what we have found to work the best are these flat outlets which actually have removable sockets. This lets you wire the socket yourself. These are fairly inexpensive here in Thailand. It's nice because there's only two holes for drilling into your cabinet. It's quick and easy. And instead of using fluorescent tubes, we're using compact fluorescents. Plugs. You'll need electrical wire. We're using off-the-shelf electrical wire. You'll need epoxy and wire strippers and cutters. At this point, you have the choice of what you'd like to do. If a thermostat is accessible, we've really found thermostats to work quite well for controlling, the, remember, the temperature and the on-off light cycle. It's really important for seeds. So we found these thermostats in Cambodia. They're low cost, but very effective. If you can't get a thermostat, what you can use is a timer. You can use this timer and couple it with a power strip. The next thing we want to do is insulate the germ chamber. You'll notice that we, uh, we don't have any of our sockets installed yet because we want to fit our foam sheeting exactly to the dimensions of the cabinet. We'll then cut the holes for the sockets to get a really nice snug fit. So what we'll do is we want to insulate every surface that we can in our cabinet. All right, now that we have our, me our dimensions um, measured for our, our foam insulation, we need to cut those foam sheets. And again, it's really important to try to get your foam as tight as possible. We will be using epoxy to affix it to the inside of the German chamber, but having a nice tight fit will help hold it in place. And what we found is that the best place for putting our light bulb is somewhere near the middle of the chamber for even heat distribution. So we're going to take a marker and we want to make sure that it fits through our hole so we can mark the inside of the cabinet. So I'm just going to simply take this and mark our two dots where we're going to drill. And so you can see that we have two nice dots. Those are going to be our, our drill guides. We want to, to use our 5 30 seconds bit. We're going to try to get these as straight as possible, a nice clean hole through the back. There's one. There's the second one. With any luck, when we put our base on it, we should be able to see daylight through both dots. And indeed, we did. All right, I flipped the germ chamber around. I've got my piece of styrofoam inside, just snug in place. We haven't glued it yet. The reason being is that we actually need to cut out in our styrofoam a hole for our light fixture and this will help ensure that we get a nice sealed compartment. So what we're going to do, you can see the three holes, remember the two holes are for the base of the bulb which should line up perfectly. The middle hole is for the wire 
And so with that styrofoam clip, we're just going to take a nail or a screw, and you just want to poke, poke your styrofoam. You're going to make sure you can see it, so we'll just poke it where those three holes are. Then that will guide us in, in making our cutout. So then we get the biggest one in the middle, so we can whittle it away a little bit. All right. So I flipped the chamber around again, and you can see I have three holes. And what we'll do now is take our base. Notice we haven't attached it yet, that's important. And we're going to put our base on here, and uh, we're going to cut out our center. Okay, now that we've got all of our pieces cut, we, uh, we want to dry fit everything, just like a woodworking project. You can see that we've got all of our pieces of foam really tightly in place, which is good. That means we have a nice, tight contact. Um, so we dry fit it. You can see in the back, we have our bolt bases cut out, and they fit snugly. Before we actually glue our foam in place, one thing that you want to make sure is that all your surfaces are clean. Now that all your cutting is done and everything has been drilled and ready to go, we're going to take our foam out. Don't forget which foam piece is which. Using a little, little bit of alcohol, so just rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. You just want to clean, you can use a skirt bottle as well. Just clean all of our surfaces. Make sure that our epoxy has a nice contact point. So we get everything clean and ready to be glued. thing that you might want to do, if you're using a thermostat, we need to get our bulb inside the germ chamber from the outside. So before we glue our, our foam in place, we're going to punch a hole through the corner in order to slip that bulb in. So we're just going to use a, a large diameter drill bit and go right into the corner. And we'll just 
just check our fit and make sure we can get our thermostat through. Perfect size. And so we can just leave our thermostat right there in the chamber to, to regulate the temperature. Alright, so now that our, our foam is all glued in place, our epoxy is set, we're ready to do the final wiring. So I've taken apart our, our thermostat and it's uh, ready to be wired up. Remember, we have to, to wire our, our sockets and uh, thread them through. So here's one of our sockets. I showed you how to wire up the thermostat earlier. So first things first, we want to get our socket into the base. When it's, when it's ready to go, we're going to thread our wire through the large hole that we drilled in the back. That should pull right through. So all of our wiring is going to run on the outside of the cabinet. That's going to help keep it insulated. So then next, we're going to get our, our base into place. And just simply a matter of simply a matter of using our our nuts and our bolts to hold that base right in place. So we'll put our bolts in. And then we'll use just little nuts on the back side to hold it. The great thing about this design is it's completely uh, removable, so if you have to take it apart, it's very easy to do. The other, the other thing that we want to do, since we're looking at this here, is using that other hole, we're going to thread our thermostat. Through that hole, we got our thermostat on top. The thermostat's going to come right through here. And this way we can control our lights inside the chamber. So we can just leave our thermostat right there in the chamber to, to regulate the temperature. Alright, I hope this has been an informative video on how to build your own seat germ chamber. Look for other Echo Asia Impact Center videos on very appropriate, low-cost technology. helpful? If you did, consider giving it a like or subscribing to our channel. While you're at it, why not check out our other videos or join our network at echocommunity.org for more interesting and sustainable agriculture solutions. Network members can receive up to 10 free seed packets.